So today is Yordi's last day as an interpreter for the morning announcements. And, and tomorrow is his last day at Raymond Temple. So we all want to say thank you for being here. And uh, where are you moving to? I'm moving to San Francisco. I've heard that place is very cool. And one day I might go there too. I want to go there. Thank you. Good morning, Raymond Temple. Today is Wednesday, March 30th, 2022. And now, a Wacky Wednesday mind wrap for you. Here are your current events. Know a family member or family friend who needs a job? Well, the Centralia School District is hiring. All the info you need is included on the flyer that went home yesterday. Food. Did you know that breakfast and lunch are free for Centralia scholars? Even if you bring your lunch or something to lunch, you can still add on some fruits veggies, and a drink to give you big brain, power, and energy. Here's the final follow-up for the movie CODA. The cast of CODA was invited to the White House to meet President Joe Biden and the First Lady, Jill Biden. Here's the video clip. understand the impact of that on the whole country. Uh, it helps so many people. Thank you. Free virtual ASL class. Mondays at 6 p.m. with Mrs. Serena Rerain. It's an exciting hour of American Sign Language, deaf culture, stories, and facts. The link to the live stream is on the Raymond Temple School website.
doing thousands worldwide who are learning ASL, American Sign Language. A new PBIS event is coming together for April. This event will be shared for you and the, will be for you and a friend. It's a shared experience, so save those PBIS points to buy your ticket. A kind reminder: make sure to always source so you can be a part of this event. Who, what, when, why, and where? Who invented pizza? Let's watch a video on this topic. Have you ever been plowing down pieces of pizza at a party and wondered to yourself, who's the genius who invented pizza in the first place? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. As you might imagine, Pizza has a long history, and it took a long time for pizza to develop into the pie we know today. Ancient flatbreads covered in toppings are probably the oldest known ancestor of the modern pizza pie, and people have been eating flatbreads with toppings like oil, spices, and cheese for as long as we've been keeping records. Okay, so that's pizza's origin story, but when did that ancient flatbread transform into the pizza pies we know today? That credit is traditionally given to the Italian city of Naples, where people have been eating pizzas since at least the 1500s. It was a coastal city chock full of blue-collar workers who needed something cheap, quick, and tasty to eat. The people of Naples, or Neapolitans as they're called, turned to our ancient treat, the flatbread. They added their own toppings like tomatoes, cheese, olive oils, garlic, and even anchovies. These earliest versions of the pizza were sold by street vendors and were eaten for any meal. For several decades, pizza remained nothing more than a local favorite of the Neapolitans. Until 1861, when Italy officially became a country, bringing together a bunch of regions under one ruler. As part of this process, the king and queen decided to stop by different regions around the country, including the city of Naples, which they visited in 1889. This is where our story enters the realm of legend. The story goes that the dynastic duo had become bored of all the classy French cuisine they were eating as they toured the country. So they decided to just order some local pizzas instead of having a big fancy meal. They apparently ate several different pies and loved them all. The queen especially loved a specific version, a pizza pie topped with soft mozzarella cheese, red tomatoes, and green basil. If that sounds familiar, it's because we still call that a margarita pizza today. Now, whether or not this bit of historical pizza binging ever happened, it's clear that pizza as we know it got its start in Naples around this time. But if the king and queen did have a slice, it didn't start an overnight sensation across Italy. Pizza didn't start to gain its worldwide popularity until the 1940s and 50s, when Italian immigrants from cities like Naples started living, working, and opening restaurants in countries like France, Spain, England, and, of course, the United States. At first, pizza places owned by Italian immigrants started to pop up that were just meant to give other immigrants a quick, cheap, and delicious taste of home. But before long, word spread, and Italians and non-Italians alike were chowing down on pizza. And ever since, pizza has remained one of the most popular foods all around the globe. Depending on where you are, you can find pizzas with just about any toppings you can imagine. For lunch today, you are having cheeseburger. Stay tuned for your sandwich after the pledge. Remember to soar every day, everywhere, with everyone. That's it for me, Raymond Tempest, the in Council. Bye. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for 
for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.